<laughs> Hi! <laughs> We're continuing with the Aztec software um, interdisciplinary study material. Uh, we're going over my notes. Um, I'm being silly. <laughs> we were doing the math section and um, we, we were going over, let's see, some, some notes about um, ratios. So ratios um, are kind of like fractions. They compare two values. And the cool thing about ratios is even if um, the two values that you're comparing change but if they change at a constant rate the ratio still remains the same like if, if um well it's like if you if you graph um, two sets of data um and um but the change the rate is being the same um the ratio will be the same um I think there was an example with like John and Peter. John works um, and gets a hundred dollars a week, and Peter gets um, two hundred. John then the next week John gets two hundred, and Peter gets um, I think four hundred. But um, their their pay is increasing um, at the same rate. So, but um, since it's increasing at the same rate the ratio is going to be one to two regardless of how much their pay um, is in fact um, it's not going to matter because the ratio is still the same but it doesn't really tell you exactly how much they're getting you just know the ratio that peter always makes twice as much as john regardless of how much it is okay and then that's the ratio explanation and it can be in, in comparing anything like money, measurements, as long as the two things being compared are the same and they're comparable. So they have to have comparable units. Um, so then, so you can like use a colon to write a ratio like um, not, um, they were comparing books. So if you compare a part to a part, like nonfiction to fiction books, seven to three, and then if you compare a part to a whole, like nonfiction books to books in total, um, including nonfiction and fiction, which would be um, like 7,000 nonfiction out of 10,000 nonfiction and fiction, so, ten, so seven to 10 is part to whole. If you have three part ratios, or even four, etc., you're comparing different. Are you comparing many different um, quantities? So it doesn't. You could compare um, two, three, four, and like you could have a ratio of the population of Denver to the population of Chicago to the population of New York. So the three part ratio is one million to 6 million to 9 million, which can be reduced to 1 to 6 to 9. And you use colons in between the numbers. You can simplify and make ratios into their lowest terms, like in the previous example. And the way you would do this is you find the lowest, excuse me, you find the largest number um, which is called a common factor, which divides evenly into all the values that you're comparing in your ratio. So the largest common factor, which we divided in the previous example, was a million. We divided 1 million, 6 million, and 9 million by a million, and we got 1 to 6 to 9. So it's the same idea. This is called um, reducing or simplifying ratios into their lowest terms. So you divide all the values in your ratio by a common factor or the largest common factor that will divide evenly. Um, and so you have to find out what that common largest common factor is and then divide all the numbers by that no same number. So let's see here. If you have, for example, 6 to 18 to 12 um, is, is your data that you have in your ratio. 
you will the largest common factor between 6, 18, and 12 is the number 6. So 6 divides evenly into all those three numbers, and it's the largest number that divides evenly. So it is like 3 and, you know, 2, but 6 is the largest. You use the largest. So 6 to 18 to 12 simplifies to 1 to 3 to 2. That's your resulting um, simplified ratio. So the term equivalent ratio is used to describe um, ratios that are equivalent. That, so, for example, the ratio 1 to 2 is equivalent to putting 5 quarts of oil in one car and 10 quarts of oil in another car, which is 5 to 10, which is the same as 1 to 2. So 5 to 10 and 1 to 2 are equivalent ratios. Um, and that's found by just dividing or multiplying all the numbers in the ratio by the same number, which is basically the same thing as simplifying the ratio or the opposite of simplifying. A proportion is the statement of equality between two ratios. Um, so this one you have to think about a little bit. So the example that was given, so you have six, six screws for a hinge, like of a door that, you know, holds the door in place. So then you have 18 screws that we use for a bicycle. So the ratio is six to 18. So six screws for the hinge, 18 for the bike. And so six to 18 is one ratio. And then the other ratio, you have nuts instead of screws. Nuts for the hinge, three. Bikes, uh, nuts for the bike is nine. So that ratio is three to nine. So when you have, the way you really figure out if it, the, these two ratios are proportional is six to 18. Is that the same when you simplify it as three to nine? So when you, uh, three to nine is like one to three when you simplify and 6 to 18 is also 1 to 3. So they are in fact proportional ratios, those two ratios. So you simplify and then um, the both sets um, are um, compared and they are proportional. Newts, newts <laughs> screws and nuts <laughs> are um, proportional in um, your hinge and, and your bike, whatever. <laughs> Sorry. Um, uh, let's see here. Um, also, a proportion can also be used in a, like an equation to solve um, for something that you may not know, like a variable. For example, like a fraction. Six. Oh, sorry. You have five miles that you're traveling in ten minutes. Five to ten. Um, is your ratio then you have 30 miles that you're traveling in an unknown amount of minutes so you're trying to find the number of minutes that you will travel 30 miles if you're traveling 5 miles in 10 minutes you can write it in an equation 5 miles over 30 excuse me you can't so um, depending on how you set up your your equation and your fractions um, you will if you do it right you will still get X and you will still get the right answer the way they set it up they put five miles over 30 miles so they lined up the miles together so that you can cross out the miles and then they they got the fraction of 1 over 6 and then they equaled it to 10 minutes over X so then they just solved for X which was gonna be six uh, they just they just brought six up on one side and X up on the other side which is called cross products and and they got X equals 60 minutes for the answer but you could write it in more than just that one way just um, as long as you write them in the right way um, so they combined uh, I guess they wanted to c combine like like terms together on one side and minutes on the other side but um, even if you do it the other way it sh should come out the same in the end we'll continue the next part
Thank you.